Ladies and gentlemen, it was Bill the Eliminator, and we stand by for 12 rounds of international boxing for the WBC Bridgeweight Silver title and the rights to challenge for the WBC Bridgeweight Championship of the World. Our three judges and ringside scoring the 12 rounds of boxing should it go the distance. From Accra in Ghana, Mr. Eddie Papu. From Fosluarus in South Africa, Mr. Tabo Spampu. And from Leuven in Belgium, Mr. Daniel Von der Wiele. Our WBC fight supervisor from Soweto in South Africa is Dr. Peter Matane. And the third man over my left shoulder in the ring when the opening bell goes, please welcome from Paris, France, Monsieur Ali Obali. Introducing the first of the two challenges to you, he boxes out of the red corner on my left. He weighed in at 98.75 kilograms. As a professional, 31 wins with just one loss. 26 of those 30 wins coming within the distance. He boxes in the white trunks with silver and green trim. Born in Côte d'Ivoire, now fighting out of Brussels, Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former WBC International Silver Cruiserweight Champion, former WBA Intercontinental Cruiserweight Champion, and the former undefeated WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Madame Zemishir. Please welcome to the Palace of Dreams, Riyad Meri. The second of our two challenges out of the blue corner on my right weighed in at 100.75 kilograms. As a professional, 28 wins with just two losses. 14 of those 28 wins coming within the distance. He boxes in the black trunks with gold trim. Hails from the Highlands North and a proud member of Sniper Smith's Boxing Academy in four ways. Introducing the former South African and WBF All-Africa Cruiserweight Champion, the former WBA Pan-African, WBC Youth World, and former WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the former undefeated seven-time WBO, I beg your pardon, IBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World, he is Kevin, two guns, Larry Rina. Okay, time, gentlemen, and the last recommendation. Okay, make me a clean fight, make the better win. Don't hit behind the back, okay? Behind the kidney, not much down here in the belt. And make the better win. Have a good fight. Right, round number one of this much anticipated fight. The elimination, Kevin Larina versus Riyad Mahi. Riyad Mahi from Belgium. Originally from the Ivory Coast. And of course, Kevin Larina right from, from Johannesburg, Kharteng, South Africa. Who wants it most, we'll know tonight. Thank you, The cadet, round number one. Marina throws the first punch, fighting out of the unorthodox south pole stance. Uh, he is orthodox. Pushing that left foot forward. Kevin Lorena pushing the right foot forward. They speak of a single loss on Mahi's record. That was years ago, in fact. It was on the 24th of March in 2018 against Arsene Golamaren. The fight was in Marseille. He was stopped in round 11 of a fight that was scheduled to go 12. Since then, he has never tasted defeat. May he. Kevin Arena pops up the jab with the right hand and a southpaw stance. This is the eliminator.
see both these fighters in fantastic physical condition. Oh, great uppercut from Larina. It's a quick start by Larina. Oh, it's a great start from Larina. Oh, big left hand from Larina. Yeah, he looks to start patiently trying to establish the authority with the left jab but it's been said on numerous occasions the best punch for a south pole is that straight right hand and as it stands Kevin is moving to his left yeah of course the right hand down the middle like that from me that's exactly what it is Kevin is moving to that right hand South Falls don't like the right hand. Kevin started a quick pace. Oh, good work from the South African. There's the chip again for me. The understanding, of course, as they pace themselves. Remember, the fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. The both fighters are conscious of that. Yeah, one wants to say good start by Larina, but Murray is landing punches of his own. But there's nothing in it. The two and a half minutes of the first round, scheduled for 12, the elimination. Good left hand from Larina. Larina swings wildly, Murray gets out the way, pops the jab. There is that right hand again as Kevin continues to move to his left to make his right. Stop. End of round one. Well, it's a good opening round for both these fighters in the bridge of white division. Listen to me. We've got to keep fucking changing our direction. He's watching moving into his right hand, okay? Right. He's just watching, settling so you can keep moving there, okay? Off, change direction, pull him around, in, out, side to side, okay? Good work, Kevin. The left hand is working. Okay? You Michael must control the left every time you throw. One, okay. two, hook, throw your left, okay? Beautiful, boy. Okay. And hit through the middle. He's opening up his V. He sometimes throw straight up, stick up straight over. Okay. Not sure what Murray was complaining about in the first round. It's a good one down the middle from Larina. Straight left. Oh, good jab from Murray to end proceedings. So close round. Right, number two of the elimination. Larina comes out jabbing. Arena comes at Jabin. A oh, great body punch from Murray. Don't push. If he says don't push. Oh, that's a good uppercut from Kevin Arena. Murray says bring it on. Only once has Mehi gone the distance of 12 rounds in his career. Kevin's looking for the big left hand. No, he's banging downstairs. Different start to the round for Lorena, letting Mehi do all the work in round two. Lorena slowed down a lot in round two. He's to up his work rate. He knows where to take that left hand, Mehi. He's fighting Mehi in this corner, Lorena. Yeah, at this stage he's fighting <laughs> the trainers and the managers as well. 
he is to concentrate on the job inside the ring. This Kevin Larina. It's the fainting, it's the movement of Karina that's giving Mehi all kinds of trouble. You'll see now and again, and Larina shifts with right and then throws the combination. Nice speed from Larina. Small steps to cut the left ring and the ring. Allowing Kevin to dictate the pace. You look at me, his record prime. He's a knockout artist. 81% KO ratio. So far, he's just fighting a good fight. Stop! Not working his man. Listen, Rudek, you stay away. Don't block out. Keep tick tock, okay? Okay. Nice Still talk is easy target, okay? Nice Beautiful. It's yours, my boy. It's yours. Stay you focused. just stay in control, stay focused. Watch him. The left hand's working on him, okay? Beautiful. Dude. You're hurting with that. And then uppercut to the middle must be fast through the middle, okay? Jab, jab, boom, up. And then keep your hands up, okay? <laughs> Just joined us, round number three of this bridge away fight. The elimination. May his last fight was in October last year, 2022, against Dusan Kirsten. Fight was scheduled for eight rounds. He won it in three. Kevin's landing nice left hands down the middle. Start working, Riyad. Riyad's not throwing enough punches. He hasn't gone the distance. 12 rounds since 2017 in December against Nick Kisner. Better, better combination there from Riyad Murray. Both fighters waiting too long here in round number three. It was Mitch Williams who took him the distance on the 20th of May in 2017. He won a unanimous points decision there, May. Not sure what May is waiting for. Kevin's not waiting. Doing the business. To right hand for me. In this round, may he trying to pick his work rate. Not doing enough work as Murray. Kevin is throwing more punches. Of course, the crowd is playing for a big fight here. Another right hand goes right through the guards. From May. Well, it almost looks like May is waiting to land a big right hand. One time Kevin hasn't tried tonight. It's that left hand uppercut. There's opportunities. Yeah, he needs to. Watch your head, watch your head. Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> well, Mary's corner is saying the fight's easy, but the fight's definitely not easy. Last 10 seconds of the round. Stop! You're giving him too much time to 
think. Don't give me time to think. He doesn't want to be there, brother. It's up to you. It's up to you. You can put him. He's going to quit. He's going to quit. He's going to go down. So if you put the pitch in, keep tagging him away. Move around. You're throwing him to his right hand. Turn around the other side as well. That's why I keep saying jab, step on one, two, okay? Third round is possibly belongs to Murray. Beautiful. Just put, him, just put it on him, bro. And, and watch him. Watch him. Just on him. Round number four of the elimination. Kevin Arena against Riyad Murray. Nothing in it yet. Almost always these jabs from me just falling short. Just like that. It's half a jab. It's not a full jab. It's got to extend it. Like that. Steps inside after the jab with the right hand. Good right hand down the middle from me. Got to make the openings with the jab, man. He looks good when he's jabbing. Kevin has a way of neutralizing the jab with his own jab. Quicker hands from Kevin Moreno. He's fighting on the back foot, not sure if he can win the fight on the back foot. But Lorena being the aggressor. Good left hand down the middle from Kevin Lorena. Seen many of those from Kevin. Need to see some body punching too. Good combinations, man. He quick hands. Now both these fighters, I must say, for big guys, have got great hand speed. Man, he goes to Kevin's body. It's a reminder for Kevin. To start digging downstairs too, he stop, tries. Stop, 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 stop. He's got to Watch work the head, body okay? more. Kevin what? Lorena, he has to. Watch your head, watch your head. I think uh, Peter Smith called it in the corner when he gave Kevin Lorena advice. He said, don't wait too long, don't give him time to think, jump on him. But, but Kevin, Kevin hasn't listened to his trainer in this round. Yeah, he is throwing big punches, Brian. He's throwing really big punches. Yeah, I know he's having a very good fourth round here. Yeah. And that left hook from me. And the ships out of danger. Kevin is head hunting. Ah, there's the uppercut. It's been a long time coming. It's a beautiful punch. Right hand uppercut from the south coast stands from Lorena. How oh, he takes downstairs. That's his fight. Yeah, brilliant work from the South African Kevin Lorena here in round stop, four. Stop, stop. Just when we thought he was losing the round, he hasn't lost it yet. And the crowd are loving it. Trying that uppercut. He's finishing the round strong, Lorena. Oh, those bombs from May. Ten seconds remaining in the round. Strong round, strong finish, Lorena. Good combination. This is Kevin going to work Stop. at the Palace. Yeah, Brent, Kevin finished the, the round in style. Well, that's an interesting round to judge. Because Murray was doing well until the end. Well, there we see the CEO of Warren Tennis, CEO of World Sports Betting, that man in picture. Thanks to him, World Sports Betting, for the fantastic sponsorship for so many sports in the country. And of course, I'm talking for boxing specifically. Warren Tennis, CEO, World Sports Betting.
We are round at number five. We are scheduled for 12. May here against the winner. This is the eliminator. Fighting in the bridge weight. Silver belt at stake, WBC. Well, Kevin finished that round in style. Is it enough to win him the round? Well, the judge will have to decide on that. WBC Silver Bridge OH title. The man who throws the most punches in this fight will win the fight. And at this stage, Kevin's doing a little bit more. Ah, nice jab. There, goes back to the jab, man. He sort of breaks Kevin's uh, rhythm. But Kevin has a way to counter the jab with his own jab. Mm. The man with the quicker hands is going to win the battle of the jabs. Uh, Kevin just seems to be slightly quicker than Murray. When he lets his hands go, they land. Murray's accurate with his combinations. He places the punch as well, Murray. I love the small steps of Kevin Lorena. So you see when he takes a step, he's, he's fighting uh, off, uh, uh, a south pole. Takes a small step to the right. Corrects the angle, throws the left hand. Now in just small steps, cuts the ring intelligently. Well, he's enjoying himself out there, Kevin Arena. Every time he lands like that, he smiles at his opponent. He's going to shift. Now and again, you'll see. He goes like he, he's always with the jab. Going to the right, making way for the straight left hand. Uh, Kevin just seems to be doing that a little bit more than Murray in my books. But it's close. Starts with the right hand there, man. He doesn't really find the target. Kevin's guards are high. Uh, up there is a shift. Again to the right. If anything, the work rate is lacking from Murray. When he throws, he throws beautifully. But doesn't throw enough. Good stuff from Kevin Arena here. Round number five. But it's the last 10 seconds of the round. Jab from Kevin, solid jab. Man, he misses with the right hand. End of the round. Well, I've got to say these rounds are close to judge. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep tagging this out. But listen, you've got to throw the sunny combos. You'll put some combos on, eh? Okay. Bucket, bucket. Are you feeling it? Hey, feeling it? Good. Chomp. Looking good, bro. Keep your hands up. Don't take chances, right? Bucket, yeah. Oh. You're doing some? So two judges haven't got Kevin nice Arena up and one judge has it even. This is how they have it. Judge A scored it 37-39 Lorena. Judge B scores it 38-38 and Judge C has it 38-38. That's the scores after four rounds. It's customary with the WBC to get the scores after four rounds, of course. So right now we've got one judge that has Kevin Lorena up by two points and two judges have it even. So there's really nothing in this fight. Interestingly then, the corners too would have had the numbers as they're being read out uh, here at center court. So they know exactly where they at. Ah, good right end from me. Well, good left hand from Lorena. Absolutely. <laughs> Got good, good skills, Murray. But I like about what Lorena's doing. He's, he's come to fight. Just needs to up the work rate a little bit, but, he, but he's coming forward. And work the board a little bit more. But of course, the corners would have heard two judges have it even, one judge has it for Lorena. So, still up for grabs.
Now he is somehow lazy with the jab that yeah. I was just about to say the same thing from Ronnie that Murray's a good fighter, he's skilled, but he's lazy. He doesn't complete the jab, he doesn't throw many combinations, like there he throws one, two and he backs off. And uh, well, I don't know if that's gonna win him the fight or not. Kevin needs to up his work rate as well here in round number six. All those punches from me are taken on the cards watch your head, watch by your head. Lorena. Stop, 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 stop. Solid, solid protection, really. Watch your head, okay? One into me here. Watch your head, says the referee. Or if he says, watch your head, but moving well is Riyad Murray. Fox the jab. Jabbing, 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 looking for openings. Throws the left hand. There isn't much coming great from Mehit. Just looking for one big punch. Riyad. You called it from Lani. He's lazy. Kevin's throwing more punches. Not sure how the judges are looking at it. But he's definitely throwing more punches as Lorena. You can have all the talent in the world, but you've got to have work rate. Kevin finishing the round strong again. Yeah, very strong. The scorecard, the other rounds are all equal, eh? Okay. Okay. So let's put it up, eh? Okay. You're just allowing me in the judge on. They, they're not, they're, they've got to be convinced, eh? Better convince him, brother. Come on. Yeah. How you feeling? Come on, let's go. I speed. thought that was speed, a decent speed, arena speed. run. That's all I want. Don't but, think loading up. Don't think loading up. When the opportunity comes, you, you put it on him. But for now, keep your defense tight, boy. Keep your defense tight. Don't take any chances, okay? Okay. Move Good right hand down the middle from Murray, but not enough. Just not throwing enough punches. We're now, we're now after the, we're now after the eighth round, who's eight on points. This is round number seven. Kevin's got the ability to pick up the work rate a little bit and cause Mehi to work a little bit more, cause him then to keep moving, put pressure. Because it seems like Mehi loves the pace where he gets to rest, take breaks, and then he wants to dictate a very slow pace to the fight. Yeah, he's got good skills, as I said, Mehi, but just doesn't complete what he's trying to do. He throws a half a jab. There's nice jab from Lorena. Trying to complain, saying it's behind, but it's not. No, it's not. It's all part of the fight game. Oh, something's happening in this round, Brian. The distance between the two fighters, shorter and shorter. Yeah, Lorena's finding the range properly in round number seven. Oh. Nobody's throwing punches. Only one man can initiate the throwing of the punches, it's Lorena. Yeah, if anything, Lorena's throwing more punches, definitely. He's kind of punching, but just not landing enough. Now he leads with the right hand again. Can hardly miss with that straight right hand. Locked by the high guard of Lorena, though. Looking for the right hand is Murray. 
Man, he likes this pace. This is his pace. So what Kevin needs to do, pick up the pace, force me to keep working. That's exactly it. Because even like that, Lorena's putting on the... Stop, stop, Putting stop, on the stop, pace, stop, stop, making very stop, stop, hard. And hold, I'm okay. sure that's looking good at the judges. Back, back, back. Don't hold. Stop. Man, he wants this fight to be fought at a walking pace. That's what he wants. Then he wants to give himself an opportunity, maybe with one big hand. Now, no urgency from Riyad Mui in round number seven. Well, we're going to round eight. Kevin Larina from South Africa is looking the part, I believe. Definitely doing more work. going back. This elimination fight. The one here, of course, a reminder fight for Lucas Rosinski for the WBC Bridgeweight World Title sometime later this year. Round number eight, if you just joined us, Kevin Larina versus Riyad Mohi. And Arena's come to put on a boxing exhibition. Of course, you look at the knockout ratio that uh, Riyad May he has. Yes, Kevin Lorena is having some great moments, but he cannot afford to be careless. Well, you got to look at the quality of opposition as well. Riyad May has got a great knockout record, but the knockout big names. Kevin is a big name, obviously, on his list. Oh, as I say, that good left to right hand from Riyadh. Well, that's good from Lorena. In my opinion, the guy coming forward is winning the fight. And there he is settled to the role of being the counter puncher. is the counter so he waits for Kevin make the move then he wants to counter ah, nice left hand from Lorena they right left down the middle from Lorena earlier in the fight Lorena tried the right hand of the card in London he knows there's an opportunity there's room for it the left of the cut to Mayweather. I really don't understand what Mur is waiting for. If he wants to fight for a world title. He's got to throw punches to beat Lorena. He's waiting for Lorena to make a move. He wants to counter. So he's letting rounds go. On a jab for you and a jab for me. And when Mehi throws the jab, it's a left jab with no intention really of throwing anything with the jab, behind the jab. He touches you with the jab, it's okay. Until the runner makes a move, it's a wrong move, he will be countered. The runner knows all about it. Like that. Wow. Mehi catches Lorena, Lorena says, bring it on, man. This is South Africa. Great stuff from Kevin Lorena here in round number eight. He has to dig that body more. Stop, Man, stop, he stop, doesn't stop, like stop, the body stop, punches. Stop. Don't hold it, this. Okay. Stop. Well, we know he's winning the fight now, I would imagine.
Yeah, definitely a good good round full arena again. With four rounds to go. They certainly must be ahead on points by now. Jerby. Oh, he knows something. He knows a lot about the body punches, Kevin Lorena. He knows if he throws more to the body, man, he may not be able to last the distance. No, no, he doesn't like it in the body. There's the lazy right hand from Murray. That's a lazy right hand, it's a good right hand, but he doesn't follow up with anything else. He throws one punch at a time. He's going to have to up his game. Running out of rounds. Mahin is not going to take and the risks is not going to gamble he's has, kevin forces him to make the mistakes but uh, the output is so low on the side of me that he hardly makes any mistakes if kevin doesn't push him it's a difficult opening to fight but it's always like he's got that urgency for money he's got you know he's just not throwing enough punches in my opinion I have a purpose go out there and throw punches His record suggests he's a big puncher because of blows like that. If he catches you, you're gone. He knows it. He doesn't work for the knockout. He waits for the knockout. Work like tremendous from Lorena. Look at how Lorena gets out of the way of those punches. Brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the score after eight rounds. There it is. And Lorena now. Causing man, he still to fight off the back foot and then close quarters stick to the body with the right hand. Watch your head. Center of the ring, it's Kevin Lorena who is in charge. So I'm going to read you the scores after eight rounds. Judge A. 79 Lorena 73 Mehi Judge B 76 76 Judge C 78 Lorena 74 Mehi wow. He just one a point out The referee goes down The referee is down The referee went down. The, the trainers want to fight no more than the ball says. Yeah, it's action, yeah. That Empress Palace almost looked like the trainers were going to whack each other. It's beautiful, beautiful. Well, on the three judges' court, Kevin is cruising to a points victory. There we see the referee going down. Amazing stuff. Kevin finished really strong. Looks like the referee was more hurt than the fighters. Peter Smith and his counterpart trainer having a go at each other. Round number 10. We scheduled for 12. It's intense.
Well, Murray keeps looking at Kevin and saying, you're not hurting me. But it doesn't matter. He's not throwing enough punches. And he knows the scores because they're read out over the PA system here. So he'll know he's behind. Good jab from Riyad Murray. It's almost getting to the stage now where Riyad Murray needs a knockdown. His work rate is very low. Punch output as well, very low. Yeah, that's that's the problem from Rani. That's why he's behind on points. His, his work rate is just bad, and, and Kevin's work rate is really good. Like who's got the better chair? Lead right hand, me. Well, I'll tell you what. If he loses this round, Murray, he needs a knockout. Otherwise, he's got no chance on points. That's what he believes in. The power punches. It's to throw more of those. Oh, that was excellent stuff from Riyad Murray. But goes back in the back foot. Makes a move. It's a wrong move. Kevin makes him pay. The better Kevin's going to be, I believe. He's in great condition, banging the body. Yeah, in the tenth round. And this is a strange learn for Mehi in terms of going deep into a fight. Not used to going the distance, twelve rounds. He's a knockout artist. He's going to need the knockout, otherwise he's going to lose on points. Kevin Arena. Nice right hand to the body. Stay here. Stop! Oh, good punches from both fighters. Another good Larina run. Beautiful. Just keep your hands up. Okay, keep your hands up. Play it safe. Lean the mark, boy. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, bro. Come on. Well, six minutes to go. Roll, roll your head. Roll your head. basically needs a knockout or knockdown or knockdown or something special. Otherwise, he's going to lose his final points. He's not able to set. He's not 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 set.
Uh, it seems like the short break revived me. Up next for the winner, of course, is Lukas Rosensky, who has won the WBC Bridge Away title. Wasn't a good round at all, Lukas Rosensky. And Alec Babic. Yeah, and then the first round fight was in Poland. And he doesn't really look the part of him as Lukas Rosensky. Back to the action here, Lorena doing well in round number 11. He just needs to stay on his feet and he'll win the fight. Murray's a good fighter, but he really needs purpose. Lorena is in charge here. He sets the pace. He initiates the fighting with the jab and throwing the left hand behind it. May he settled to that role of being the counter puncher, waiting for Lorena to make the wrong move. Well, he's running out of minutes, he's running out of time, he's running out of rounds for sure. The names of Kevin Lorena's three kids on the back of his boxing trunks. Well, for one, you obviously have biased as a South African, but for me, one man came to fight today. And that's Kevin Lorena. Right hand, left hook. The difficulty in fights like these against the puncher, you must still fight a disciplined fight. Good right hand, Lorena. Well, yet right hand from Lorena. He's doing everything right. Right up for cut. He's enjoying himself. Well ahead of points. We have Murray fighting off the back with counter punching. Stop, 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 stop. And my opinion just Watch not right. throwing stop. enough punches. Last 10 seconds of round number 11. Good right two from Marina. The crowd are loving it. Stop! The Arian Prospellus. Becky Butler, what a legend, Roxy Butler, his wife. Great to have them here at Empress Palace. It's been a while. He used to be the Empress Palace kid, fought many times here. And what a wonderful guy, what a wonderful champion. I'm okay, let's go, Jim. One just about every time he used to win. Ring bells and everything. Becky Butler is a superstar. Good work, good work. Last one. Check. Check, last one. Speak, brother. Twelfth okay. and final round of the Eliminator. Oh, Kevin Arena versus Riyad Murray. And unless Murray can knock Kevin Arena out, there is no chance he can win this final points. I'm not the official judge, but I'm prepared to back that statement. The two punches thrown by May here at the start of the round looked like he was going to have a quick start and a solid round, but he's gone back to his shell again. fighting against a man who knows how to take a decision in Kevin Lorena. And Lorena lands with that left hand. No purpose to Lonnie. He's just he's just a lazy fighter. And no disrespect. He's a good fighter but Lazy in work rate. He leaves then in the punching power, of course, as his record shows. But it was always going to be a tall order to try to take Kevin out with just the one punch in front of his home supporters. 
Well, Kevin's using that jab beautifully over the 12th round. Jabbing with the right hand. The crowd is saying, Kevin, Kevin. And he's the man. In putting together this fight at the press conference, it was announced Roddy Berman remarked how costly it's been, but said we had to move heaven and earth to make sure it happens to give Kevin Loren an opportunity to fight at home and fight for the green belt. Bowling jobs backing their promoter and bringing the sponsors and super sport, of course, to make sure it happens. I love Riyad Mir's style. I love the way he places his punches. He's a smooth guy in the ring, but his work rate is poor. Oh, great punches from Riyad Mir. That's what he believes in, Brian. He's a big, big puncher, and his record says so. He caught Kevin with a good right hand. But it's under 30 seconds left. May he now goes to the body. He knows he caught him. But can he press home the advantage, May he then? Well, he's left at late with 10 seconds to go. It's 10 seconds remaining. Kevin stays on his feet. He wins. May he piling on the pressure and missing. Kevin comes back with the right hand. Wow, good end to the table. It's over. Fight is over. Lorena looks a bit battered and bruised there, but that's the face of a winner. Well, Kevin Lorena is waving to the crowd at Empress Palace. And everybody's happy for him. He's been the king of Empress Palace for a couple of years now. Nobody pulls the crowd like Kevin Lorena here at Empress. And that's the promoter for Riyad Mui in picture, Elaine. Well, that's the fight game. You get in there and you hit each other and then you shake hands and you hug each other. You get paid and you go home or you stay home. But, uh, yep, sport of kings, they call it, greatest sport in the world.